Bob. Hola, no, papá. Hello, no, papá. Hello, my girl. It's okay. So in general, we're going to talk about what's happening with this tree here, right? as we associate elephants and the trees, what are the benefits of the trees to the elephants, All right. and also what is the benefit of other animals of the elephants, the dance and whatever they say. So the elephant being debarking here, okay, so literally he put this into his mouth. You can see the teeth marks, marks, okay? So he was basically chewing it to rip out the bark. So sometimes they can roll it over like this, all right? By doing that, they're actually getting rid of the bark. So the reason why they eat the bark is because you take a look, the bark itself contains what's known as the cambium layer okay so this is the cambium layer which transport all the nutrients from the roots to the leaves and back to the roots again in the dry seasons all right so this is the most part of a tree that contains the nutrients and the elephants actually understands it so that's why during the and dry seasons they normally debug you know so that they can they can get all the nutrients they need from the trees. So as they eat the trees or whatever it is they're eating, obviously the result will be the bark and the bark, I mean the dung. So the dung will become a food source to other animals or other vertebrates whatsoever. So it is very important that they perform this, okay? But at some point, 
when we see its big trees that are not really necessary to be damaged then we can say no you can't do that on that tree all right but in general this is what they do they eat whatever it they eat out there trees um bugs grass uh they can sometimes chew the whole stem if they if they have to so it's a very very important and also very complicated complex but it works very well with the elephants and also the bug helps them with their digestive system because it also carries a lot of fiber in it and it helps with the digestive system what tree is that tiger well this tree here is um is a false marula okay it's a false marula tree it looks like a marula but it's not really marula tree it's a false marula you can take a look on its back um if you take a look on marula they have much more uh, 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 dead bugs on it unlike this one here so yeah thank you thanks a lot tiger just one thing um that i wanted to just do to ask um which i want to you can see how white it is and that's kind of white, your yeah. red and then white and as it yeah. gets do um, drier yeah. it's getting darker so you know what happens like in the outside party okay it's 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 where you get that uh tenant yes okay so the tenant also is there especially the tenant is fighting the bark from dehydration you can actually feel this bark how wet it is there's a lot of moisture in that you know if i just take that kind of you know um it's not wet wet but it's yeah there's it a lot is. of moisture and yeah i think if we can like really i don't know if we can squeeze it like you can some see some of the wetness automatically going to my fingers there there's a lot of a lot of uh, foods in there you must also remember now with the the dry seasons there's not as much um green grass so this makes um a, a lot of um of the the nutrients up at the moment yeah it plays it really plays a major role in elephants you know um, the digestive system as well and then it adds up a lot when it comes to the food uh, they eat as well in daily basis um, they need to mix up uh, but remember the trees have so many ways of protecting themselves so the uh, two we know it's one of them is uh, chemical protection whereas you find a tree without thorns okay if the elephant eat too much of this tree because of the tannin and latex in that tree it will start to to taste different and the elephant will start you not know, to dislike it so that's how that tree will protect itself but on a tree that has thorns known as mecha uh, mechanical protection so the thorn will minimize the amount of the bite that animal can take on that tree because of the thorns. So that way that tree can also protect itself. So you will see um, everything works perfectly because there's a reason why it's there. Um, and that's why you see the elephant, they eat, they didn't eat much, you know, that's a little bit and then they just left it. So which means they, you know, kind of start testing different and they didn't like it like wow this is not really good so they eventually leave it and go for another tree so that's what they do basically throughout the day um, eating munching you know uh, but also if you take a look on this whole stem it's gonna be dry anytime soon once it's dry you know your decomposition takes place or the grain bowlers will come and you know make holes and then suddenly because of the rains and the sun the tree actually will decompose goes back to the soil and that will become manure in other areas that will provide the manure to the grass which will become food source to the other animals as well so yeah elephants do play a major role in our ecosystem they are quite a huge engineers of the ecosystem all right we've been talking about uh, elephants knocking down trees, breaking branches, and then automatically the branch will be uh, will become, you know, uh, 
part of decomposition and stuff like that. But now you can see, uh, this is a dead tree. But anyway, then you have other vertebrates like termites. They came and made this a home. And by doing that, and all the decomposition is taking part. You see how the tree is softly breaking down um, due to the termites eating it and uh, also paving their way, making as a micro habitat, you know, for themselves and the other species. So this is very important. Um, when an, whenever an elephant knocks down a tree, you know, most of people, they take it as destructive act or behavior. But it's not so destructive if they are in a wide range of environment where they can, you know, uh, knock down trees, but they don't really cause much damage because they have enough area to roam around and do whatever they do necessary. So this is why we say it's important that sometimes they need to knock down trees. So these vertebrates can also have a micro habitat, which is very important. That's Doctor coming up. Amazing how fast they can move. Hi Tokwe. Hi my girl. Hello Tokwe. Where am I go? Straight here. See Satombe coming down there. So we've got Satombe, Sadoga, Kabura, Klasiri in the ditch and Tokwe. Interesting to see how the group structure changes, who will move in, who will move out. So very interesting just to watch them. Yes, from town to town you see the you know, social structure uh, automatically changes and also it's also contributed uh, by weather specifically that day and uh, you find out there's some areas that are warm so for those who are actually feeling cold they may say okay I'm gonna be in this area because it's warm so that will influence the social structure of the head depending with the situation but also they do have favorites, they do have friends, very much like you and I, you know, um, you see that sometimes you can find uh, this daughter with Mambo, and sometimes you can find this daughter with some of the young females like Limpopo, 
but Satombi and the Klaseri, they are like a mother and a daughter. They are always close by, always. I mean, Satombi, she is very, very protective when it comes to uh, uh, Klaseri. So she is always around Klaseri in most cases. And then just far ahead, you can actually, I'll zoom in. Just remember, it's just an iPhone. Put a little blue blanket with a pinkish <laughs> face, which is Kanisa, but she's far away. Okay, she's on the other side of the riverbed. Actually, I like it when she gets that black and white blanket. And she looks like a zebra in between. The <laughs> yes, you can spot her easily, <laughs> and she makes friends with the zebra. Yeah.